So there's a specific person. Yes, somebody. Who knows who this is? You gonna tell me, boo. But there's a specific person here that keeps putting themselves in secret competitions with others. They've probably done this with you and other people around them. All right. But what's happening with this person is they're the ones who keep ending up real upset, real irritated. You know what I'm saying? Like real PO because they end up losing the competition and that's the thing and so because it's a secret competition it's like they just sit over there with their little attitudes right but at the end of the day they just need to stop getting in competition with people and do they you know do they self do them that's what they need to do but we're gonna find out more about this person with me duchess general collective take what resonates leave what doesn't behind in this time this reading boo if you want to leave a donation or book with me you can do that linked below look See, Spirit is saying that this is the type of person that never learns their lesson, okay? This is somebody I heard since the age of time or something like that. So, this is somebody here who's been putting themselves in secret competition with others almost their whole life. So, this is probably something that started in childhood, okay? Probably started with either family members or friends or whoever, but... This is someone here who just does not learn the lesson to stop competing with others. So this is somebody that keeps repeating the same cycle over and over and over. No matter how many times they lose these secret competitions, okay? No matter how much stress they go through, no matter how much disappointment they go through, they still don't learn. It's like they, the next time they see somebody doing something, oh, I got to do that. Oh, I got to get that. Oh, I got to try that. Oh, I got to be like that. No. Let's find out more here about this person. Look, see, this person doesn't even know who the hell they are. Who in the world are you? This person doesn't know who they are, okay? And so this is somebody here that they want to live through everybody else's destiny instead of their own. And so this person is curious about the wrong things. Instead of curious about what their destiny is and how to make things happen for themselves, they always curious about what the next person is doing. What you got going on? What's Susie and Billy Bob going on? What's going on with their love lives? What's going on with their pockets? What's going on with their relationships? What's going on with their jobs? This is somebody that's always watching others, right? And so they don't even know what it is that they really want or what they really like. This is somebody that sees somebody else enjoying something. Oh, well, if they like that, then it must be great. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, if, if the collective likes to do this, then I must, it, it must be amazing. I should try to do it. But they're not even thinking, you know, is this something that you would actually like? So this is definitely not somebody with leadership qualities. This is a follower, right? But it's like they also, it seems like they may be in denial about being a follower because if they following you, what makes them think they can beat you in this secret competition? Or if they follow whoever they following after, what makes them think they can beat them in the secret competition? They not even trained for it. Let's talk more about this individual, baby. We got here, look, see... This person needs to learn how to create their own life. What did I just say? They need to learn what is it that they dream of. What's good for them? So this is somebody that gets jealous of everybody else's dreams and aspirations, right? So whether you be like, oh, I'm going to be a dancer or, you know, I'm going to concrete, uh, content creator. Or I'm going to be a spiritual leader or I'm going to... Um, you know, be a scientist. I'm going to be a movie star, whatever. Okay. Everybody got something different. They want to be, but it's like, whatever you want to be, then all of a sudden they want to be it. Okay. Or whatever you do, it, it, they may be in the same industry or do similar things. So then they want to do it better than you or better than whoever they're around. So again, this is somebody who's leaving their own dreams on the shelf to follow other people's dreams and to compete with other people. But Spirit is saying here that them disregarding themselves over and over is really about to backfire for this person. Yeah, because they're feeling alone. Look, it's nonsense. Yes. Okay, it's nonsense. They're realizing here that the more that they follow after you and others and try to compete, try to be better than, first of all, they're realizing that they're not better at it. Okay, you, you're not doing it big. You're not doing it right. You're not doing well. Okay, and so besides them noticing they ain't doing good at it, second of all, they're noticing they ain't even enjoying it. It's like they copying you and they realize they don't even like what they're doing. It's like, but why? So they sitting there looking a fool because they ain't good at it. But then looking a fool as well because now you just did something that you didn't even really want to do. And you're not good at it. But you just had to try to compete with somebody and prove that you are. But you're really not. You get what I'm saying? So this makes the person end up feeling foolish at the end of the day. So this is like some karma stacked up on them until they learn a lesson. 
to stop copying others and stop trying to steal other people's destiny and stop sitting here being in competition with others that's not even worried about them. Spirit is saying 90% of the people that they've done this to ain't even been worried about them, okay? They don't even know that this person is a secret competition or they know and they're blowing it off like, you know what, you tripping. So this is somebody here who really needs to go through a lot of healing work. Tell us more here, Spirit. Tell us more here. We got here the magic stream wide open. Look, spirit is saying you need to be careful right now, okay? Because there's somebody, this person is going to be trying to compete against you once again. Look, there's some sort of magic that's about to be happening in your life, okay? And spirit is saying that you're in the right energy. You're wide open to receive whatever this magic that's coming into your life, right? But you need to protect your treasures. And I love that it's raining right now because this goes with it. You see all this rain and she got her little umbrella protecting her treasures, baby, okay? You need to protect what you got going on because there's this person here that wants to secretly compete for what you got. That's the thing. For some of y'all, this person will compete for exactly what you got, which those are the worst ones, okay? And then there's some where the person is just going to try to compete to have something similar to what you got, which is still annoying, but... At least they ain't trying to take your actual thing. But this one, it looks like this person wants to actually take what you got. So if you got a boo, you better protect it, honey. Okay, if you got some cash dollars, protect it. You got some new stability coming in, protect it here. Because this person that's in secret competition wants a little bit of what you got. Tell, oh, that just flew right out. Look, yes, yeah, see... Your wishes are about to be coming true. And so what's happening is as your wishes are coming true, again, what's about to happen with this person because they don't learn a lesson is when they see you getting what you wish for, then now they're going to believe that's what they wish for. Okay. Even though they wasn't thinking about it, you might just, you know, get some, some new opportunity. Oh, I always wanted to do that. You know, be like, oh, I'm about to do a, a, a radio sports cast or something. Oh, I always want to do that. No matter what it is you're trying to do. This is what, I, oh, that's what I always wanted. Okay, you ain't never heard a mention of it. They ain't never heard nothing. They ain't talked about it a single time. Now, all of a sudden, that's what they wanted to do. So, with this here, Spirit is saying, this is not the time to lend a helping hand. Okay, no. This is the time to protect your treasure because whoever this is that wants the same things as you, what they're going to try is a destiny swap. Okay? They're going to try to, because this is what they always wanted, right? It's like they're going to get your help, but then try to beat you at your own game that you're not even playing. It's a game in their head. Okay? That's, that's the thing here. So this is somebody I feel like you need to create distance with because why would spirit tell you to protect yourself? Yeah, you do. You need to, you need to be very wise when dealing with this person. As you can see this talisman, which is going to be very much full of wisdom. Okay? Back is turned. So I feel like Spirit is saying here that there's going to be certain things that this person would be willing to do and say when your back is turned while you're even helping them. So this is the type of person that likes to bite the hand that feeds them. It's like as soon as you help them, they screw you over. This is the type of person where you move them in your home and then they'll sit there and sleep with your mate. You get what I'm saying? This is the type of person you get them a job and then they'll get you fired from the job. Okay, this is that type of person. Spirit is saying here you need to be very wise with what happens behind your back here and being very, what's the right word? Intuitive, like feeling and knowing here when something's off. All right. Because this person here is so competitive that they're willing to take, they're willing to steal, they're willing to grab here. They're willing to sabotage. Okay. Just end up on top. Even though this technique has never worked in the past. It hasn't. It has not worked. But spirit is saying because the technique hasn't worked, this isn't making them feel like they should give up. It's making them feel like they should try harder. Okay, like, oh, well, it didn't work, so I need to try a new maneuver. I need to try this. I need to lie better. I need to manipulate better. I need to be more cunning. I need to be more faster. I need to be better at tricking people. You get what I'm saying? It's like they feel like they need to go harder and try harder instead of giving it up. Yeah, see, Spirit is saying that this is somebody that will do things slow and steady, meaning they will do it for the long haul. So this is somebody here that you just got to really be careful with, okay? Because if they play the steady, slow and steady game, that means it's the long game, okay? So that means that it can start off with small little things. Hey, can you show me this? Hey, can I hang out with you while you do this? Hey, you know, can you share this with me? It starts off small, and then it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Until it turns into some sort of wannabe destiny swap. Uh-uh, okay? Uh-uh. 
So it's like, it seems like whoever this person is that's in secret competition is getting more and more desperate. Okay. They're getting more and more desperate by the day. So things are, you got to be careful here because they'll play the long game to try to get some sort of benefits. Yeah. So spirit is saying here that right now is the time for you to believe in your own magic, your own faith, your own abilities that you, this is not somebody you need to worry about, stress about, overthink about. Okay. Because you are well aware of what they up to. You can see clearly, you know, that they're going to keep trying because they're hard headed and they never learn a lesson. But on the other hand, you're not hard headed and you do learn your lessons. Okay. So you're going to be doing what you're going to be protecting your treasure. Okay. You're going to be staying very faithful and good. You're going to be receiving your blessings that you're supposed to be received. This, this treasure chest will be closed. Okay. And this person's going to have to find out how to get their wishes to come true on their own after they figure out what the hell they wishes are. They need to stop, you know, riding your coattail every five minutes and riding other people's coattail. You get what I'm saying? Oh, this, I, I was telling you, I have this one really close friend and I always use this example because people love to ride my coattail. It's just strange. But anyways, I was telling her because she's a mermaid and I said, girl, wouldn't it be so strange if all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I love mermaiding. I'm going to start mermaiding. No, it's not my thing. It's her thing. Let people have their blessings and we have ours. You get what I'm saying? So whatever this is, spirit is saying, you ain't got to worry about this nonsense. Just protect with yours. Don't let the snakes into your garden, baby, because they will eat up all your fruits and and veggies all right like share comment subscribe follow all of that good stuff if you want to leave a donation or book with me you can do that below in the comments or the description box you can also join the winner circle where there's exclusive content free readings and all types of other goodies all linked below in the description or the comment box i'm gonna talk to you later boo bye